Here's where the magic happens. Using the grid, you're going to fill in each box to match a box on the picture. So you're taking your picture and rather than trying to draw the whole some shade of gray, if you compare it to her shirt, no white. Okay? So what I like to do first, in whatever box I'm working on, and you can really start in any box, is add a gray scale. So I'm just going to take the side of my pencil and I'm going to lightly shade the whole box gray. Once I get my lead down, I'm going to use my stump just to blend it all out until once I get my lead down, I'm going to use my stump just to blend it all out until my entire box is a nice shade of gray. Okay? So now we're working in this box still, we're gonna add the highlights and the shadows. The places on her face where the light's hitting and it's lighter, or where there's not so much light and it's darker. So I'm going to use mostly my stump and eraser for that. These gray kneaded erasers are great because I can literally just like blot out some color and get it lighter without having to erase it all. And I can make this into different shapes to get the different shapes on the face that I want. Okay, so there's my highlights. Now, to make the shadow, I'm actually gonna use what I call a lead pool. So I just took my pencil, scribbled a bunch of lead over on the side of my paper, and I'm gonna use the stump almost like a paintbrush to come in and add some darker shadows. Okay, so now we're gonna finally draw the features of her face in. And really the only thing that's in this box is her eyebrow. I suggest drawing all over your paper because it's going to help you find things better. So the first thing I did was outlined her eyebrows so I can see exactly where it is. Now you have to think of this like a math problem. So I'm going to use the side of this box, I'm going to find about halfway up and that's going to help me find where the top of her eyebrow is going to go because it's coming up somewhere about halfway in between there, so about a quarter of the way up. So I'm going to make a little mark a quarter of the way up on my paper for the top of her eyebrow. I'm gonna look at the space between the top and the bottom. I'm gonna make a mark there. And then I'm actually gonna draw a quarter of the way up. So I'm gonna make a little mark a quarter of the way up on my paper for the top of her eyebrow. I'm gonna look at the space between the top and the bottom. I'm gonna make a mark there. And then I'm actually gonna draw a line right here on the box to see how far across her face it comes. And it's coming over a little bit further than halfway across the box. So I'm gonna make a little mark a little bit further than halfway. And now I'm gonna draw my outline for where my eyebrow is gonna go before I start to shade it in.